Hello. Welcome back to Virtual Sunday School. I hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas. And I hope that you all got a chance to see our beautiful Christmas pageant, or maybe even to participate in it. Now we get to look at what happens to Jesus after he's born. And so the first story we're going to hear is the story of the light of the Magi. The Magi, the wise men, come at Epiphany. But I have a question. I wonder if you know what an Epiphany is. Think about it. Do you have a guess? An Epiphany is when suddenly a bright, brilliant light shines, either outside or even inside your head, and suddenly you see something clearly that you couldn't see before, or you understand something that you never knew before. That is an epiphany. The Magi had an epiphany of their own. Are you ready for the story? The story of the light of the Magi. Far, far across the desert from the town of Bethlehem where Jesus was born, lived three wise men. Sometimes we call these three men the Magi, which is where we get the word magic. They knew so much that people thought they were magic. And of all the things the three wise men knew, they knew the most about the stars. One day, the Magi saw the wild star. The Magi knew where all the stars were supposed to be in the sky, but this star was not on any of their maps of the sky. It was new. The wild star burst into the night sky one night, and the Magi knew that it was a sign from God that a great king had been born. So they followed the star all the way to the kingdom of Israel. And when the Magi got to Israel, they went to the great city of Jerusalem and found King Herod in the palace. Where can we find the newborn king? They asked King Herod. King Herod was shocked to hear about a new king. Will this new king steal my throne? He wondered. Come back to me when you have found the child, he told the three wise men. So the wise men continued on their way following the star to Bethlehem, and there they found Jesus in his mother's arms. The wise men bowed down to the baby king and offered him gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. But an angel warned the wise men not to tell Herod about the baby. So when they left Bethlehem, they traveled back home across the desert by a different road. When Herod found out that they had left without telling him, he was very angry. Kill all the baby boys in Bethlehem, he shouted to his soldiers. God sent an angel to Joseph in a dream. Herod is going to look for your baby to kill him, the angel warned. Take Mary and Jesus across the desert to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you that it is safe to come home. Joseph did what the angel told him to do. Years passed, and after many years, the angel came to Joseph again in a dream and said, Herod is dead. The angel told him, It is safe to take Mary and your child home again. So the little family packed up and crossed the desert again. They went back to the kingdom of Israel and found a new home in a small village called Nazareth. And next week we'll hear what happens to Jesus when he was a boy in Nazareth.